Hey guys, what's going on? So I touched stuff here that's spelt with a zero. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I meant to make a video on the iOS 4.3 GM jailbreak. And uh, I went through the whole process only to encounter an error in iTunes. And I tried fixing it with iReb and it still didn't work. So that jailbreak is a little unstable. I didn't really want to show it to you guys. And hopefully a jailbreak will come out soon for this newly released iOS 4.3 final IPSW. So uh, again, today, March... What day is today? March 9th. Uh, Apple released their iOS 4.3 update to the world. And uh, recently it was supposed to be announced on March 11th with the iPad. But I guess they decided to put it out a little early and whatnot. And basically, here's how you can get it. So, you can either go ahead and open up iTunes and uh, click on the check for update button. And if you are on 4.2.1 or an older firmware, it will check and uh, see if you have an update. But since I already am on 4.3, um, which is the GM I'm running right now, then uh, you basically have to do it another way to get the update. So the other way is to go to Safari and head to the Redmond Pi link I have. And basically, it's just a bunch of links on this one web page for your specific model. So I have the iPod Touch 4G. I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring me to a new page. It'll redirect me, and it'll start a new download. You can see I have one downloading right now. Now, for some reason, my internet is being really, really slow today, so that's why it's still downloading. Before, it was running really fine. It was at 50%, and then my Wi-Fi just crashed. So uh, that's most unfortunate, but I'll be able to update a little bit later. So if you do have that GM... Uh, if you do go here to download the official iOS 4.3 from Apple, then what you want to do is know where your file actually is. So mine is here. This is actually the GM over here, but I'm just going to demonstrate with it. So it should say something like iPod or iPhone, and then your model number 4.3 AF190, restore, and you just want to go into iTunes and you want to hit the option or alt key on a Mac or the shift key on Windows and click the restore button and it will ask you to browse for your file you select your file so mine is this one right here you click choose and it will automatically update you to that file so once again that's how to get the new iOS 4.3 official from Apple if you're already on the GM and you don't know how to update or if you're not on the GM and you're in an older firmware and you want to update also, along with that, you need iTunes 10.2, so you can do that by going to iTunes at the top. Click check for updates, and it'll update, or look for updates, and then if there are any, which if you're not on iTunes 10.2, it'll ask you to update. Update, uh, I also think it updates QuickTime, but I'm not so sure about that. Usually they update both. So, that's basically how to get the official iOS 4.3 GM. It brings some cool new features and some bug fixes, especially an enhancement to Safari with the new Nitro JavaScript engine. And uh, so we should see some speed bumps there and a few more options for the iPad and whatnot. So guys, it's been iTouch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.